So I'm Gordon Wright, I'm a second year PhD student at Birkbeck. Um, I'm interested in the psychology that goes into lying. Um, so um, what we understand about lying is basically that it's more difficult than telling the truth. Um, and if you think about some of the lies that you've told, maybe, uh, maybe you'd, you'd understand this. You've got to think of something creative. You've got to keep your story straight. Uh, you've got to try and not look suspicious. Um, and so the way we're looking at lying at the moment is in an MRI scanner and using what's called functional uh, MRI scanning. So we look at which parts of the brain are active uh, when, when you're lying versus when you're telling the truth. Um, so um, so taking, taking that example of, of, of lying, the keeping your story straight, for example, uh, we think happens in this part of the brain, in the front of the brain. Anything that, that, that's sort of conscious thinking uh, usually sort of happen, happens at the front of the brain. Um, and so what we do, um, we can't see things happening in the brain sort of specifically, um, but what we do is sort of like uh, working out who's having cups of tea after Coronation Street to work out how popular Coronation Street is. We follow the, the fuel, we watch the electricity go through the system. So we compare the amount of oxygen that's going to specific parts of the brain when people are doing the task, so lying, versus when they're telling the truth. And what we see is more uh, oxygen going to the parts of the brain that are active. And so when we compare those two things, what we see is increased activity in specific parts of the brain. Um, which lets us understand what parts of the brain are active um, and, and, uh, and lets us know in some way, gives us some evidence towards what psychological processes are happening. Obviously, there are liars, but then there are also lie detectors as well. Uh, so we know that people are usually pretty bad at, um, at detecting lies uh, and generally speaking, they might as well just guess. Um, so what we're going to be looking at next is um, whether there are any particular parts of the brain which are active which can help uh, identify whether people are lying or telling the truth. So is there one part of the brain that, that responds to uh, deceptive messages? Um, so again, we're going to be using fMRI uh, to look at that. Um, and uh, as soon as we get any results, we'll, we'll let you know.